Hi folks, welcome to the new update on Steam. This is Atif and you are watching Moon333 and the information I'm providing in this video is for educational purpose only. This is not intended to be investment advice. So please seek a duly licensed professional and do your own research as well for investment advice. Guys, this strong recent bearish trend has held a lot of cryptocurrencies and coins to complete their final legs, the last legs of different bullish patterns and Steam is one of them. I'll definitely show you what kind of bullish pattern this team has just completed uh, later on in this video. But before that, I want to show you some different moves of the price action of Steam. So after that, it will be easy for us to understand that pattern. Uh, this is the two day chart. And here on this chart, we can see the price action of Steam was moving sideways from November up till January 2020. And in January 2020, the price action took a strong bullish divergence. First, it had the 50 simple moving average resistance. And after that, it had the 100 simple moving average res resistance. And it has broken out both resistance. And uh, after that, after breaking out the 100 simple moving average resistance, the price action uh, took some little bit correction really. And after that, the price action used this previous resistance of simple moving average 100 as support and took the more powerful bullish move than the previous one and hit the 200 simple moving average resistance. And here the price action has uh, attempted four times to break out this 200 simple moving average resistance. And we can see one, two, three, four, even after four attempts, it is failed and drop down again on the 50 and the 100 simple moving averages and used these simple moving averages that which was uh, which were working as uh, previous resistance but uh, those moving averages were working at that time at this time as a support and the price action used these moving averages as support and tried to make another attempt to reach the 200 moving average to break out but it was out of gas and dropped down again from the distance. And now uh, the price action has again dropped, it even broke down uh, the both uh, 50 and the 100 simple moving averages. And we can see the price action has retraced almost 100%. What was the reason behind that? The reason was that this was the formation of a head and shoulder pattern on a bigger time period on the four day chart. We can see that uh, this was the left shoulder and this is the right shoulder. We can see this pattern is quite, quite perfect. Uh, both shoulders are shorter than the head. Even the price action has now uh, almost crossed down the neckline of this head and shoulder pattern. And the formation of this head and shoulder pattern was the biggest hurdle uh, to have a breakout from this 200 simple moving average. But in this all move, the price action had formed a, a bullish pattern in uh, Feb 2020. And I also published an article on this move on 27th of Feb 2020. And this was the article and post and here we can see that during this move, the price action formed a bullish bad pattern. This was the initial leg. The A to B leg is retraced up to 0.50 Fibonacci. And then the price action is projected of A to B Fibonacci projection up to uh, between 0.38 to, to 8.86 Fibonacci and drop down between 0.786 and up to 0.886 Fibonacci retracement level. So here, uh, the price action also had the 200 simple moving average support on daily chart on one day chart therefore i predicted that the price action will again move up and it will try to make another attempt to uh, hit the 200 simple moving average of two day chart uh, to have a breakout from that from that resistance level and the price action took the bullish divergence you can see after i'm just playing this chart and moved between 0.382 to 0.786 Fibonacci uh, projection of A to D leg. And uh, it was expected if the price action, once it will be successful to cross up this 
uh, 0.786 Fibonacci level, then definitely it will have a breakout, the 200 simple moving average on this two day chart. But unfortunately, the price action dropped down again due to the formation of this head and shoulder pattern. And now it has completed another very big bullish pattern on a more bigger time period. And that is on weekly chart. We can see that it has finally formed and completed the formation of bullish shark pattern. And this is the initial leg. You can see it was started from the candlestick, which was opened on 25th of November, 2019. And it was ended at the candlestick of 13th, uh, 13th January, 2020. And after that, the price action was supposed to take the drop between 0.382 to 0.618 Fibonacci. And here we can see it is dropped up to 0.618 Fibonacci level. And after that, it should take the uh, bullish divergence and enter in the projection area uh, between 1.13 up to 1.618 Fibonacci level of A to B leg. And here we can see that it has even retraced or projected a little bit more than this level, but all the legs are formed perfectly. Therefore, I've just ignored this, this extra spike. And after that, the price action was uh, supposed to take uh, or take drop or retracement up to uh, 0.886 and up to 1.13 Fibonacci level. And this recent strong bearish trend has helped the, uh, the price action to complete this lag. And here we can see now the price action is just entering uh, in this potential reversal zone. We had two spikes and at this time, the price action is almost entered and this, uh, at this, uh, within this level. Therefore, now we can expect that the price action will take the bullish divergence from here and it will again hit the spike between 0.382 to 0.786 Fibonacci projection of C to D lag because it is quite perfectly driven shark pattern. Therefore, we can now expect another bullish divergence if the price action will take the bullish divergence from here and it will hit, the, uh, hit this area, then we have almost 200% profit possibility from this level up to this level. So this can be a very good fruitful trade, but uh, we should use this uh, potential reversals on the maximum extent of potential reversals on as a stop loss as the market is at this time extremely volatile. And uh, if the price action will uh, break down the potential reversals on of this uh, uh, the, the support of this potential reversal zone, then definitely price action can turn more bearish and this leg can be extended more. And therefore, we strictly use this, uh, the extent of this, uh, this potential reversal zone as a stop loss. If the complete candlesticks will start closing below this level, then we should take exit from the trade. So this was the update by the Steam price action. We can also use the different indicators and the oscillators and the moving averages. You can also use your own strategies to enter between this area. This potential reversal zone starts from 11.28 cents and ends up to 8 cents and the potential reverse, uh, potential pullback zone or Fibonacci uh, projection of C to D lag is uh, starting from 15.73 cents and ends up to 23.90 cents. So this trade can have the potential to give up to uh, almost approximately 200% profit, but uh, entering at this time in the market is extremely risky. You should be careful, use the, your own set of indicators like oscillators and other moving averages and indicators. And after when you will receive the confirmation that the market is turning bullish, then you can place your buy, uh, order, buying orders here and use strictly this area, this potential reversal zone as your stop loss point. So this was the update uh, by the price action of Steam. Definitely, I will post more videos and articles on Steam price action if there will be more developments. So if you like the video, then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel and be careful. Take care. Goodbye.